Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. And in today's video, it's actually very exciting, very exciting. Hear me out. This is the 7-Eleven Makeup. 7-Eleven has their own makeup. It's called Simply Me Beauty. I just recently found out and of course had to head down to 7-Eleven, get all of these products and I'm going to show you all of them. I didn't get the entire stuff. Some of the colors just don't speak to me and I wouldn't be able to use them on my skin tone, so I left them on the shelf, but I did get a really decent amount of products, I want to say, to make a really good review for you guys. Also, we will be doing the swatches. I got some eyeshadows. I believe that they're only available at 7-Eleven stores. I didn't actually find like an official website where you could get them, so that's a little bit of a bummer, right? <laughs> the products are made in China. They are uh, formulated in the United States, here. Everything is under $5. And the prices range from $2.99 to $4.99. The shelf life of the products is 12 months. They're only sold in 7-Eleven stores. So when you go in into 7-Eleven, they are kind of like in the display like this. I will be sure to attach a photograph of what it looks like because when I went in yesterday, me and my hubby were like, uh, where are these makeup products, right? Because you don't see them right away, at least not in our 7-Eleven. And he's like, do you want to ask a, a person at the register? I'm like, no, <laughs> I, just, I just want to be able to find them on my own. So we did, of course, find them. So I'm going to actually try to create a look with them, see how they perform. And of course, there will be swatches down the road. Here are the eyeshadows. This is what I got and this is what I've swatched. So there is five of these eyeshadows in this pan. Two other sets like this that you could get. I'm going to attach the pictures of them. I didn't get them because one of them is cool toned, the other is light blue. I just know that I'm not going to be using them. So the closest that comes to my colors would be this one. Let me show you these colors. So, of course, the uh, packaging is plastic, there is no mirror in it, which I didn't expect it to be, of course, anything like that. But what surprised me is even though, because when I look at these eyeshadows, for example, I'm like, that's not a lot of eyeshadows. But then I look at the packaging and it tells me that there is 10 grams of the eyeshadow and there's five of them. So basically, there is two grams per eyeshadow, which is actually... I would say decent. It doesn't look like that because of the way they're organized, but there is definitely a lot of product in here. It's just the way it's organized. By the way, when I was doing the swatches, it was kind of hard to get my finger into here without touching the other colors. So one of the swatches looks like it's contaminated with another adjacent color. Understand that it's just hard to get in there. And with the brush, it's of course easier to get in, but not with the finger. But because I give the same treatment to eyeshadows, regardless of the price, regardless if they are high-end eyeshadows or affordable makeup, drugstore makeup, convenience store makeup, I'm going to treat them all the same. I always prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I swatch with the e.l.f. brush. I do the finger swatch. I do the brush swatch. Um, so it's going to be the same kind of level of I'm going to give everybody the same play field with the same rules that apply in order to be able to give you the full review and to give you the most accurate review that I can. I'm not going to give this because this is a considered cheaper makeup, different level of swatches. So swatches are done in the same fashion as always. products in 7-Eleven, I didn't see the actual like foundation. They have something called BB cream. So this is, I would say that this is their foundation. Comes in three shades. I got the shade light because that seemed uh, in the store closest to my skin tone. Then of course I got the 
concealer. So this is high def concealer. This is what she looks like. I also got the setting powder right here. On top you get the setting powder and then you get this little guy right here to apply it with. I, and then of course there is a mirror on the inside. This is actually a little bit harder to open when you're trying to get in there. I, I was having a little bit of trouble um, getting in there so it's a little bit hard to open some of this packaging. Sun Glow Matte and Shimmer Bronzer. I have the Radiant Highlighter. I made a mistake. I was trying to get different colors and then I got uh, the two of the same. I'm like, Olga, come on. Lip Crayon. And these ones are in the color Sangria. The Volume and Length Mascara right there. Cream Lip Gloss. And of course, this is their idea of the Beauty Blender. So now that I have shown you, I believe everything, ooh, 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 no, no, we're missing one product. I also got one of these brushes. So they also have their brushes. That was like, that was also nail polish and nail file and all of that. I didn't get those products. I just felt like it was a little bit redundant for me to get them. The brush, I can tell you right away, I'm not going to be able to use it. This kind of feels like one of those brushes that come with some of the, the eyeshadow palette and they're just, this is just not uh, really pliable. I don't think it's going to be able to pick up the product and distribute it. I'm going to be using my Wayne Goss brushes. Hmm, I wonder what Wayne Goss would think of me using his brushes on the 7-Eleven makeup. I bet he uh, actually would think it's cool. Opening these products is a lot of fun. <laughs> we are back in business now that I have taken the packages of all of these products and I have to tell you, I am glad that I paused because then it would be a lot of editing, a lot of editing. So first thing right, right to start with, I have noticed that this um, BB cream, that's very unusual, but it has nothing in the back. Look at this. You, usually you will see all the ingredients, but then it means that um, all of them are on the box. You will see some of the directions usually on the products, but this is just bare. That's, that's kind of interesting. That's interesting. And also one more thing. You see how this is sealed? Kind of like reminds me of your toothpaste, okay? I went ahead and unpacked this uh, version, their version of a beauty blender. I guess it's they're trying to go for a dupe. This is so far from the real thing, it's not even funny. Because um, I actually wet the product because you're supposed to wet the beauty blender. I just to just for and giggles here's the comparison you see the real beauty blender and it's wet and then you see this thing and it's wet as well but it has not expanded in size so if you are thinking it's going to be like the beauty blender this is not going to perform maybe you can use it a little bit as a, some kind of a detail around the eyes but that's about it it's not ever going to grow into a big beauty blender and also this is pretty hard. I just need to give it a fair chance. I put this much product onto my wrist and let's see what happens. So this is their BB cream in the shade light. Oops, getting my hair in the way. I don't even know if this thing is capable of blending. I will try, but honestly, I think it just smears the product all over my face. No. I absolutely cannot work with this, so I am going to switch to the beauty blender. This is not, this isn't working for me. It's like, it's just like wiping the product. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more product because I am, of course, used to the full coverage. This is by no definition full coverage. So if you are looking for something sheer, possibly you will be satisfied with this, but to be honest with you, I am just not. But that's probably my preference. I'm just not seeing the coverage that I'm used to seeing. So, of course, I'm a little bit... I'm on the fence. I mean, I don't know if I like this product yet. I don't know what it's gonna look like when it dries up on my face. I'm not sure, so I'm kind of just putting it on and seeing, I'm trying to make the best out of this. Definitely not my favorite thing. First, first things first, I'm noticing that it's a little bit shiny. I don't like shiny foundations or shiny things. I like matte finishes, but then again, that's just a preference. If you like that sort of thing, it might be uh, something that you want to explore. These, these are just my preferences. 
So okay, so now that I have done the best I could with this, I am going to play with her concealer and see how she's going to conceal. And this is what she looks like. There is nothing there's nothing special about this. It's let's see what happens. Kind of a weird smell. I don't want to say it's a bad smell, it's just unusual smell. I've, I'm not used to something like that, but let's see what happens. So I'm not sure if the BB cream has oxidized or something, but I can tell you right now that even though both of them say light and light, they don't match each other. The BB cream seems in the light shade seems to be more pink or maybe it has oxidized and then the concealer is kind of yellowish. So I'm going to blend and see if it going to, it's going to kind of work together. Hopefully it can work together. All concealed, covered, it's time to set. But it definitely, it seems like it's doing the mattifying job pretty nicely. I don't know how everything will look once everything is done, but at least it has made me look matte. Like, I don't really like dewy looks. It, to me, it's kind of like borderline dewy slash oily, and I'm always like, where, where is that fine line, right? Um, I ju it's just a preference. If you like that sort of look, that's great. I don't. I like matte looking foundations. I didn't see any eyeliners or brow pencils in this line of products, so I am going to use these, the favorite, the Giordana eyeliner for my brows, and that's what I usually do these days. I use this black one and I'll fill them in. I'm not going to uh, use the brow gel or anything like that because I'm trying to stay as much as possible away from other products. I'm just trying to make sure that I can use as many of these products as possible. They didn't have any brow gel, that's okay. We're just going to keep it simple. And I like that they give you two shades. You see like you're getting the darker on this side, the lighter on this side, so there are choices. I mean, there are these two, so the one on top is the darker shade, the one on the bottom is the lighter shade. I'm thinking I might go with the uh, darker one, just because um, it's, it seems warmer. The lighter one make, might make me look gray, and I'm just going to use it as a contour. Oh man, I think I just took way too much product, way too much product. I'm not familiar with how these products blend or anything, so if it looks kind of crazy, we just need to work with, work with it, make the best out of it, and I think I really, really took way too much product, and I really think that it's definitely a bronzer. So this lighter color is actually working for me better than I thought it would. I really did think that the darker shade uh, would have been a better choice for me, but it's it's way too dark. Now, if you want to use it as uh, to fill in like in, at the roots right here, like if you have some gray um, hairs that you want to cover, ab absolutely by all means. Like if you have brown hair, black hair, I think it would do a really good job. I do it. I don't have any gray hairs, but I do kind of like to put in product in my hairline. Let's go ahead and try to play with our eyeshadows. So I'm going to go in into this second color down, use it as a transition shade, although I do think that all of these colors are shimmery, so I'm not sure how things will work out, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Even with the brushes, like I'm going in with my Wayne Goss brush in this one, and it's harder to get right precisely, so you sort of like going to get some of the other colors. I almost think that you're meant to do something like this and just mix everything together. I don't know what that would do, but it just seems that way. Like it's harder to get in. You have to use super duper small um, brushes to be able to get into those colors, but then it's a bit annoying to use very small brushes. Like you need a, you need a fluffier brush, you need different brushes to be able to do the work on your eyes that you want to achieve. And I don't know how it would work. I just, 
it's a little harder to get in. I'm going to switch to this flat one right here, Wayne Goss, and I'm going to try to use it because it's more like a spatula, so it's going to be easy for me to control uh, where I'm getting into in terms of this. So I'm going to go in into this third color down and I'm going to use it to kind of define my crease a little bit. I'm not really seeing much pigment there. Um, there's definitely something going on here, I just don't know how how, um, how it's going to look at the end. I'm going to go into this deeper, darker color right there. I'm going to use this teensy wincy brush right there and I'm going to go in and do my lower eyelid. See what happens. See what happens. I'm going to go in into this bottom color right there with the same brush and I'm going to get closer to the waterline to kind of blend these two colors better together. Bottom color right there and to redefine the crease. I'm actually trying to go a little bit above the crease right here. I'm noticing that this color is actually blending nicely and I'm trying to give it a chance. I want to, I really want these, you know, I want it to be able to say wow, you know. So I'm really trying to give it a chance here. Also going to use small circular motions. I will go ahead and switch to the Sephora number 12 for my blending and blend upward with a little of the circular motions. Makes things kind of flow together better. Getting rid of the harsh lines. The idea here is that anytime you do an eye look, always keep a fresh blending brush on hand and then just go over your work and blend everything and you will be amazed. It really does do, it makes a big difference, kind of makes, kind of steps up the game. We're going to use the their highlighting powders and this is what she looks like. So they are giving you the little bit of a darker shade right here and this one is really yellow. I'm not sure about that. So I'm going to go in actually into this highlighting powder and I will use this color right here, the uh, pinker one, and just apply to the lids of my eyes. I don't have any Fix Plus here. I don't have any... Too Faced glitter glue that I normally apply because I'm trying to keep it as uncontaminated by other products not to influence the appearance or the quality of the look by mixing and putting other products in here. I'm going over with the packing motions. They're not really that um, highlighty, so to speak. They're more powdery. Okay, okay. All right, I do see some highlights. She, she's pretty. Ooh. Okay, so actually pleasant surprise, pleasant surprise here. I did not think much as I when I was swatching them on my hand, but as I put these on with a brush, this is okay. No idea how long they will last throughout the day. I, I don't know. I really cannot say anything. I'm gonna just uh, put a little bit above my eyebrow right here. Lip gloss right here. And I have this lipstick right there. Let me just show you the color. She's pretty. And then I, of course, managed to get all of the same colors, but that's okay. 
I kind of like this and I think these colors will go with the eye look that I have created so and this is the uh, lip crayon so I'm going to swatch them for you and show you what they look like the crayon this is nice and it went on creamy I like that so this is their lipstick this smells okay like your typical lip gloss so the lip gloss is lip gloss in my book it's streaky it's sticky and it smells like caramel candy so don't listen to me when it comes to lip gloss i just don't like lip glosses so i'm never going to be enchanted with lip, lip glosses i just it's it's just not something i like so if you like lip glosses that's absolutely great I'm of course going to try this on and see what it feels like, but let me go in with this crayon. This actually seems to have, it seems like it went on my lips really nicely and I like it. I like the color for the price. <laughs> I think this is great. So I do like this. This is nice. I'm, I'm not enchanted with the lipstick itself. It seems like it doesn't have a lot of pigment in it. The color... I don't know, I, I'm not enchanted with it. This crayon is nice. It went on nicely and the color seems like it's really, it's really there for me. I, I like it, I like this stuff. And I wish I bought another two colors now, now that I know that it's really working great for me, I'll be going back there for this. The lip gloss. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice if it just blew away? Okay, I'm going to try to pack her on top. Not getting much product here, what's what's going on there? So either because I have this crayon on, it seems like I'm trying to put a little bit in the middle, but I'm not really having much luck. And it and I want to show you something. Check this out. It's like a bubble gum in there or something springy. And I'm not trying to be mean, I just like I said, I don't like lip glosses. This is just <laughs> Okay, so not for me. The last thing I have here is the mascara. And let's see what she looks like. Okay, so definitely the excess comes out. The wand is, mm, it's okay. I can work with this one. The smell is typical, typical mascara smell, nothing to it. Actually, I would say that this is the type of a situation where you can totally do this. And try to have a bit more control because it's like it's asking you to do it. This is like really bendable anyway. The problem is that it didn't stay at that angle and it kind of bounced back out. And I have a lot of excess here on top of this brush. Ooh. This look is complete, but this is what 7-Eleven makeup looks like. Now, um, let's actually get down to dissecting the butterfly. What I would recommend, what I would not recommend. Let's start with the BB cream. If you can find it in your shade and they only offer three, you might actually give it a try. I do think it's a little crazy they don't have product description in the back, but at the same time, I think it's like a bold statement. So you might want to give it a try. This wasn't an ugly product. This concealer, I didn't really like it. I think there are better concealers out there. There is Maybelline and yes, it's a little bit more money, but you will be happier with that, I think. The Beauty Blender dupe, not a dupe at all. It just, it just looks like it. it. Do not even, don't, don't even bother with this. This isn't going to give you the satisfaction that if you ever use the Beauty Blender, you you will not want to use this. Even if you have never used the Beauty Blender, you're better off using the brush. Heck, you're better off using your hands to put on the BB cream. Just, this this is a little bit disappointing. So I, I, I did not like it. It just, it's very tough. It's very tough and it doesn't expand with the water. Setting powder was actually okay. The price is right, I mean, we're not going to sit around and complain here. The bronzer, I actually liked. I do find that these boxes are a bit harder to open. So if you do have acrylic nails, real nail, nails or whatever, be careful. You, you might want to 
be really, really careful and uh, focus when you're trying to open these. I'm having a little bit of trouble and now I can't open it. How bizarre is this? The other thing I forgot to mention is that underneath right there, it does have these brushes. It's, I want to kind of give them thumbs up for the effort. They did put it in. This makeup is sold in a convenience store in 7-Eleven. So let's assume you ended up there, you don't have your brushes. Well, you do have something to put it on. So I'm not going to shade this and say, oh, it's a horrible thing. Because yes, when you have choices, definitely wouldn't go for this. But if you are somewhere on the road and you need to quickly run in and grab a bronzer and grab a highlighting powder or whatever, and you don't have anything, this is definitely better than nothing. So by all means, it's nice that they have included this stuff in there. The bronzer I would recommend, I like it. You can use it as a contour powder and it, it is nice. Just don't go in with a heavy hand. The highlighting powder also comes with that same kind of brush. Highlighter is actually okay. I liked it. And the yellow one, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what I think of that, but if this is the right uh, tone for skin tone for you, you might enjoy it, so definitely give it a try. I did not see much pigment when I swatched it on my finger. I didn't care for the color. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence for this one. I don't want to say it's absolutely horrible or something because it's not. There is worse products out there, but there's definitely better. The lip gloss, I just don't like lip glosses. If Even if I liked lip glosses, I wouldn't approve it because, I don't know, look at this. I don't know. And it seemed like not a lot of product comes out. It seems like super, super duper sticky. I absolutely like these guys. This seems to have like a really, really nice pigment. These crayons are nice. They come in three colors. I definitely would recommend. And this could really work as your lipstick, as your lip liner. I don't know. I don't think you need that lipstick if you have this and it will give you much joy and the color is beautiful. It's a little bit hard with these eyeshadows. It's hard to work with. The reason is because they're so close to each other. They're not in their individual pans. And if you have a brush like this, you will definitely hit the other colors. There's just no way that you would go in and you would have to pretty much use brushes that are the teensy mincy brushes like that. But again, you cannot do much blending with this. This is more like a precision brush when you're trying to do some precise work. So, on that note, I don't like it. I wish that there was separation in there, but I understand why they did it. It's affordable, so the lesser the packaging, the better the deal, you know? And the uh, shadows themselves actually blend, and it seemed like I was able to work with them, but keep in mind, I am using brushes that are real fiber, and that by itself will help. I do approve these, but again, on a condition that they are used with good brushes, decent brushes. Real Technique actually makes decent synthetic brushes. You might want to try those. I also got the blotting paper, but I didn't need to blot. Blue kind of papers right there. And let's see. I'm not sure. I, I don't really use blotting papers. So for me to be able to say anything one way or another, I don't know. Actually, it did seem to like it did the job. Also took off some of my some of the makeup in the process. But again, if you don't have any blotting paper and if let's say you need it, you let's say you are there and you that's what you need to get, you do get this, you know, it seems like it's, it's fine. I just don't use them. Um, the brushes, these brushes, no, I would not recommend this because it's just it's not that good. I mean, it's very stiff. I will go back and get for myself the other two colors in this crayon for sure and I'll probably go get the other eyeshadows that I didn't get. These seem to be fun. And with all of that said guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below if there is any other affordable makeup that you would like me to review, any high-end makeup that you'd like me to review, anything in, in between. I definitely will gladly go get it and review it for you. And I always try to make um, thorough reviews, provide as much information as I can to actually provide helpful and useful video for you guys. If you um, have any questions, again, please leave them in the section down below. You can get them at 7-Elevens in US and Canada. Please give this video thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. I love you. Bye!